Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I am sitting in our kitchen hanging out because I am so pumped. I am so excited because today I just got all new equipment. I've got all new camera equipment, microphones, the whole shebang. It all came in today and I am so excited because I feel like it's really going to improve the quality of the videos we've been able to produce. So today I want to show you all the new cool stuff. I'm going to do some unboxing stuff uh, with, the key, with all the camera, all the gear. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm just pumped to show it off. So hopefully it makes all these videos even better. The first thing that I want to show you is my brand new GoPro. Ah, brand new GoPro Hero 10. This is the newest GoPro on the market um, and I am pumped. I actually bought the bundle for this, uh, which actually includes a bunch of different things. It's not just the GoPro camera, uh, but I've been wanting one of these for a while uh, because this particular GoPro allows you to go in the water. Um, allows you to I'll be able to I'll be able to film like more roller coasters like while I'm on the actual roller coasters drop towers all sorts of things sometimes I can take a regular camera on but sometimes you need a GoPro and this will give me the opportunity to go hands-free as well so I'm pumped gonna be able to get more of that action shots lots of different things here uh, so let's get to it I just want to start I want to rip into this thing and check it out all right, let's check this out. I got the bundle, as you can see, the special bundle included. Um, I did buy that, it was extra, um, but I'm really excited. So this comes with the uh, actual, like the handle, the sort of like travel handle, if you will, uh, the extension, almost kind of like a selfie stick. Um, it's got the swivel mount. It's also got an extra battery uh, for the GoPro. So you can see it comes with one battery. I've got the GoPro, got all the cables that it comes with. It comes with the carrying case, which you can see that it's in. But then I got the extra battery, some swivel mount, uh, and this special handle here. So I am excited about this. Now I actually saved about I actually saved about two hundred and fifty dollars on the price of this. Uh, because I, they're having a special right now that if you ordered it and you got the bundle and you got the, uh, the sort of the iCloud subscription, which was $50 for one year, um, you saved like $250 off the price. So for, if you paid an extra 50 bucks for this iCloud, which allows you to do streaming, allows you to save things up into the cloud, you can see it's got 1080p live streaming. Um, if you got that subscription for 50 bucks for a year, they knocked that much money off the price. So pretty good deal. And you can always cancel that. I can cancel that every month or I can cancel it at the end of the year. It just depends, but your choice. Um, it's got webcam mode. It's got voice control. You can see all the stats here. You can see it goes all the way up to 5.3K uh, and it also goes up to 4K at 120 frames per second. So this is really gonna be an awesome camera so let's t let's take a look at this i just want to open this up if i can open it let's see if we can get into this box here ah there we go that was easy all right let's check this thing out pretty cool case it's a nice hard case too so it's pretty pretty solid um, I was worried at first that I wasn't going to get a case. I thought about actually buying a case for this, but then I noticed at the last minute when I was about to buy one that it came with a case. Um, now, this only fits the stuff that's in here, so if I've got any accessories and things, it's probably not going to be able to fit, so I'll probably want to get a bigger case at some point, but for right now, I feel like this is going to be pretty cool. All right, let's open it up. Oh, yeah, check it out. Look at this. Look how tiny this is. This camera is so small. Like I don't even know if you can get a... If you can really get the the dimension of it all right so it looks like i have some instructions in here a nice little spot that i can put a few accessories in here as long as they're not too big um but we've got let's see what's in here so this is the clip mount here to be able to clip it it's got the two extra batteries here Ooh, don't let that fall out of the case there we go two batteries i don't know what this is this just looks like holder and then here's the camera itself well, I'll take that out last. Got some of the swivel mount accessories for mounting on the stick, on the sort of selfie stick, if you will, the handle. And then this looks itself like the actual stick. There we go. 
It's got this little paper around it. Let me see if I can take that off. Uh, there we go. Nice. All right, pretty cool. It says GoPro on it. It extends, as you can see. Um, loosen it up, but it extends out. So it's kind of like a, a, a short kind of like selfie stick, if you will, but it also doubles as a tripod uh, mount as well. So this actually opens up. And then I can, you know, set it on, set it on table or on the ground or on a garbage can or wherever I want to set it and actually film as well in case I need that. So it's got this small little selfie stick, if you will, or mount um, in case I don't want to use my standard mount. Now let's take a look at the camera here. I mean, this thing is so small. Here, let me pull this plastic, this paper off of here. Look at this thing. It's so small. So if I hold it up to the camera that I'm currently using here, you can see in the reflection, the camera that I'm currently using, I'm actually using an iPhone 11. So I, the, I've been using an iPhone 11 Pro Max for all of our videos. Um, and this new camera gear is really gonna up the game. So this is the screen here that you'll be able to see. I don't know if I can turn this on. I don't know if it's charged or not, um, but it's really small. I don't know if you can get, you probably can't get the size comparison here, um, but like in my hand, you can see how tiny this thing is. So it's just like small little camera. And I also got with this, so I did purchase this separately. I purchased this, which is the hand and wrist strap. Um, so as you can see, this wrist, uh, this, this uh, strap will actually go on your hand uh, or on your wrist. Um, and then you mount the GoPro on it. The GoPro kind of slides in there and stop. And then that way I can just kind of hold it on my wrist um, and walk around or if I'm on a roller coaster or maybe a drop tower of some kind, um, I can just mount it on that and film. And I don't have to worry about holding anything in my hands. Some of the roller coasters actually will not allow you to take a standard camera on. You have to have something that's fixed and mounted to your body. So whether it's a chest cam, head cam, like a helmet type cam, um, or a wrist cam like this, um, it's gotta be mounted. Um, so for example, rock and roller coaster, you've gotta have one of these or you can't do any real time like POV videos. So I'm excited about this and to get to try it out. All right, so I was able to pop this battery door open and one of these batteries needs to go in there in order to turn this on, but it looks pretty cool. I've got two batteries for this now. Um, and so hopefully that'll have enough charge where I can at least do a decent amount of filming um, before I run out of battery. But I cannot wait to try this out and you'll all have to tell me whether or not you feel like uh, the video quality is better when it's uh, ride POVs. Uh, and things like that. Um, I'll have, I have a different camera, which I wanna show next, that this is gonna be for my main vlogging, main video f uh, footage. I am super pumped about this GoPro. I'm, I'm, I'm so jazzed about it. Like I said, I, I have been wanting to do a lot of different types of videos that I couldn't do because I didn't have this. Um, and the fact that I can now take this, I can do underwater, different types of shots, I can get it wet. I don't have to worry about it when it starts raining. So a lot of times when it starts raining, I have to put all the camera stuff away and we're done for the day. Now I can actually continue to film in the rain if I want to. Um, and, and, and sort of keep the day going. So look how small this thing is. I mean, it's so tiny. Look at it. It's awesome. So this is the GoPro Hero Black 10, um, and it is the most brand new, brand spanking new GoPro that's on the market. I'm, I'm pumped about it. Now, one of the other things, if you do any sort of uh, videography, you do any uh, recording, vlogging, videos, you know that microphones and sound are always a big issue. So the microphone that I have been using is a Rode microphone and it's a directional microphone. It actually tries to block out, uh, you know, surrounding sounds. And so it's a directional microphone uh, that essentially only picks up, tries to pick up only sound that's directed right at it. Uh, so it's kind of like talking into it like this. Uh, and then anything behind it or to the sides, it doesn't really pick up as well. It will pick up some background noise. So I have a couple of different ways that I get, I, I sort of cut that out. So the microphone helps with that. Um, and then also, it also, I also have a sort of noise reduction, noise canceling in some of the video editing software that will also help cut some of that background noise. It's not perfect. And depending on how loud it is, sometimes the microphone freaks out because it's too loud. And I can't really adjust the microphone that much with the current setup that I have with the iPhone 11 uh, versus like maybe a standard uh, camera or vlogging camera it usually has audio controls. Um, so I'm hoping that my Rode microphone will actually work better as a singular directional mic uh, for the new camera that I bought, which I'll show in just a little bit. But it, I also picked up a brand new microphone because there's been one challenge that I've been frustrated with, and that is because it is a directional microphone, if I am behind the camera and I'm talking, 
and maybe I'm filming something, like I'm filming Candy when she's doing like, for example, merchandise or food, um, you can't hear her talking because she's behind the microphone. So my solution there is I have to either turn the microphone around and then listen to her talk and me not say anything. And then when I'm done, turn it back to me so then I can talk into it. Um, or we just, don't, we just don't converse that way. We have to both stand on the same side of the microphone. Um, and so it becomes kind of frustrating and clunky um, and quite annoying. So I've been looking into it and I've been wanting this microphone for a while. And so I ended up picking it up. So check this out. This is the V-Mic D4 Duo. Um, and it is actually a dual directional microphone. Um, so it, it actually has a directional microphone this side and this side, and it has a little switch on the top of it that allows you to choose which side you want to actually pick up the mic from. So you can switch it back and forth just with, just with flipping a switch. But that's not all. It records both of them simultaneously. So if I'm having, if I'm like, for example, if you're like interviewing somebody um, or I'm having a conversation with somebody, I can set it in the middle and it will actually pick me up and it'll pick up the person that I'm talking to at the same time. Now, I have read a bunch about this and I have seen that this microphone has a couple of flaws. One is that it doesn't have the greatest noise cancellation when it comes to like surround sound. So it does kind of pick up a little bit more of the surrounding sounds than the road. Um, we'll find out if that's accurate or not, but I suspect it probably is. And the other thing that I've heard is that these windscreens here, wind, I don't know, windsock, windscreen, furry little ball, which is, is supposed to actually protect it from wind, picking up a lot of wind sounds. I've heard that the ones that come with it aren't that great. Um, so not nearly as good as maybe the one that I have with my Rode. Um, so I'm probably gonna test this out. I may end up having to buy a couple new ones to put on here, or maybe I'll just kind of swap out and use my Rode. Um, we'll see. Um, but I'm excited about this because this has been one of the most annoying things with recording is constantly like flipping the camera back and forth and the microphone back and forth and trying to figure out like how do I capture both people. And this seems like it's gonna do, uh, it's gonna be the fix. Now we could have done like, um, Bluetooth microphones, like little microphone clips and then had them on each person, but that's just kind of as clunky and it, it's annoying and you gotta set it up and each person has to have one. And then if you get on a ride, do you need to take it off because you know you don't want it to fly off. And uh, it, it just, I don't know, maybe at some point I'll try that solution. But for now, I figured this was a, a, good, a good try. All right, let's check out this microphone here. Instructions, pop this open, you get the windscreens here, let's just drag this whole thing out here. All right, it's nice and compact in here. All right, look at this thing, this big fuzzy microphone. Uh, so I'll take off the actual windscreen so you can actually see the microphone itself. There's that one, and one to grow on. Okay, there we go. So this is the actual microphone itself. And as you can see, it's got the mic here and it's got the mic here, one on each side, uh, looks pretty cool. Um, and here's the switch I was talking about. You can see on one, if I go to the one side, it's only gonna actually pick up this, this, this mic here. It's gonna ignore this side. And if I flip it this way, it's, you can see the two hearts here. It's gonna actually be, have both microphones active. So I can either have the one pointing towards me or I can have the one pointing towards both of us, depending on which way I've got it switched. So um, that's a pretty cool feature. Microphone looks cool. Comes with this nice little, um, almost kind of a gimbal. I mean, it's not really a true gimbal, but it, it is a nice sort of like uh, impact resistant uh, microphone holder, um, which you know, when you're walking around the parks and you're taking steps, if this isn't, if it doesn't have this sort of like, uh, I'll just for lack of a better, better word, call it a gimbal, but it's really a lo like a shock absorber. Um, basically, if you don't have this shock absor absorber, every time you take a step, you'll hear like a doof, doof do, do sort of thump. So it's kind of nice. And then it's got the windscreens, we'll see. All right, now the next, the thing that I am the most excited about is my standard vlogging camera. Again, I've been using the iPhone. And while the iPhone is amazing, it is actually fantastic. And I know that the iPhone 12 and the 13s are even better when it comes to filming. They're great for live streaming. I've actually seen a lot of vloggers who, even who have a, a fantastic camera for vlogging, will actually also use um, just their iPhone for live streaming. So if they're going live on Facebook or live on YouTube, they may end up just using their phone because it's just so much easier to kind of get on your phone, 
at, you know, launch the YouTube app, you know, go live versus like using a camera. Um, not all cameras support going live. And so um, a lot of people will use their phone, but it has some drawbacks. One, it doesn't have great control when it comes to microphones. So even though I have an external mic that I plug in, I can't really do a lot with settings on that microphone. Number two, which is the biggest problem that I have with the iPhone, and that is low light performance. Um, the front, the, the, the sort of like um, back facing camera, so if you're looking at your phone in the main camera that has all those three, like you know, those three giant uh, little camera apertures, um, and it's got sensors on that side. That one works pretty well. You can actually get some decent low light performance out of it, especially when you, when, if you've ever done like a photo at night with the newer iPhones, it, it somehow like picks up all this light and tries to interpret it. And then all of a sudden it looks like your, your picture is almost in the daytime. So it does really well that way. Unfortunately, it is horrible when it comes to the front facing camera. So if you notice on the front facing camera, it's this little itty bitty camera spot uh, with a tiny little sensor that is, so when you talk about like low light, like the quality of the front facing camera, the selfie camera as it's called, is terrible. Why does that matter? Because when you're recording, you wanna be able to see what you're recording, especially like see your own face like I'm doing right now. So a lot of times I end up using like right now the selfie camera and when it's dark out, it's horrible. It's all grainy, it's blurry, it's got all this noise in the video, and it's just terrible. Um, and so I'm hoping that the newer camera that I've just purchased will help with that. Now I do know that the camera I purchased doesn't have amazing low light performance. It is supposed to be significantly better than the iPhone uh, selfie camera. Uh, and because this particular camera you can swivel the screen around to actually see what you're recording, um, I'm hoping that this makes a significant improvement in nighttime because a lot of times when it starts to get dark, if you've noticed in our videos, I will stand under like a light source. Like we'll stand like, we'll, we'll have to like move to a place where there's a lot of light and then actually film from there, um, which is okay when we can do that, but sometimes that's not available or we'll, sh we'll shine a, 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 a light on our food or things like that. And it's just annoying, the color changes really bad. Um, and, not, and not only that, we can't always get to a light source. So sometimes it, like, it, it just looks terrible. Um, so with that long introduction, I am excited that I just got this camera um, and it is the Sony ZV-1, which is widely regarded as one of the best, if not the best vlogging camera on the market. And I know it's been out for over a year now, um, there's also the ZV, uh, e, the ZV E10, uh, which it has its benefits. You can put, you can actually put different lenses on the front of that one versus this one. You can't do that. I mean, there are aftermarket parts that you can put on here, but basically it's kind of like one lens to rule them all. Um, but um, this is widely regarded, especially for like on the go, the size moving around uh, as the best vlogging camera. For now, I do know they're working on the Sony ZV2 which is expected to maybe release in the next six to 12 months. So when that releases, maybe I'll pick it up, maybe I won't. It depends on if it's an improvement um, and if I think it's worth the investment. But for now, this is the camera that I'm gonna go for and I am excited to try it out and see if it makes a big difference or not. All right, let's check this thing out. I have been waiting so long for this camera. some instructions in here. Hmm. All right, here's the, uh, here's the windscreen. This windscreen actually attaches right onto the top of it. Pretty simple, uh, simple is actually, and you can see it right here on the, on the box. This windscreen just sort of attaches right to the top. So it does have sort of the onboard microphone uh, built in as well, which I've actually heard is pretty decent. Um, for like a non-external microphone. So it may, may not even need to use our external microphone in some situations. This is just the cord. It's gonna allow me to charge it and uh, transfer data. And then here's the camera. All right, here we go. Let's check this out. Wow, this thing is so small. And I love it. You can, I can just kind of stick it in my pocket. 
Oh, look at this. This is this thing looks awesome. Check this out. Very decent sized screen here on the back. Um, and you'll see this comes out. So this actually will flip out. Um, and then so again, like I said, I can actually record uh, myself. So if I'm staring at the actual aperture and recording and I'll be able to see what's actually happening on the screen here. Uh, so unlike the iPhone, it doesn't use it. It's not going to I don't have to have a separate camera on the other side to film myself. Um, I can actually use the main camera that's designed to capture, you know, good lighting, low light, etc. Um, and then stare at the screen. And then when I want to record it the other direction, I can either just kind of do this and then flip it around um, and then kind of see it from this perspective, or I can just kind of close this and view it this way for smaller. Um, and then this also has the standard, uh, the standard foot here, the standard toe, if you will, to, uh, to allow me to actually screw in my, uh, you know, any sort of like selfie stick or mount or tripod or anything like that that I want to connect it to. Um, and then on top here, you've also got the, the slot where I can connect uh, the external microphone. So, pretty cool. I'm excited about this thing. Here's the, here's the actual onboard mic here. Right on the top, it's got the zoom in and zoom out, which is nice. Now, I do, I do know it doesn't have fantastic zoom in and zoom out uh, because, again, the lens only extends so far. You can't put external lenses on it. Um, so that's going to be a little bit limiting, but not significantly different from the iPhone itself considering the fact that the iPhone has... Uh, you know, a couple different zoom rates, uh, zoom spots, uh, but a lot of it is actually software rendered zooming, uh, not actual lens rendering. So yeah, so that's about it. Uh, now this battery door down here, this is where you actually put the SD cards in the battery, comes in here, which I know this has been a, a point of frustration for people, which is uh, if you have it mounted on something, it blocks this door from being able to be open. I do know there's an aftermarket part that you can buy that kind of shifts this hole over to here, which allows you to get in and out of this door without having to... Uh, unscrew your tripod or whatnot, but um, I don't have that. I don't know if I'm going to need it. We'll see. Hopefully, I'm not changing the SD card or the battery too often um, to where that becomes annoying, but we will find out. So there you have it. Man, I think this is just going to be a nice camera. It's just really sort of small. It's not too heavy. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to give it a try. Super excited about the camera. Look how small it is. I can just kind of hold it like this, get some footage here. Uh, it's going to be super, I'm super pumped about this. And I can start using my phone as a phone again. <laughs> I can actually use it as it's meant to be, which is a phone. Um, and I can surf Facebook all day if I want to, even when I'm uh, vlogging. So yeah, I'm excited about having this now as a separate cam a second camera. Um, and so I can even record two things at once. I can even record my phone again if I want to, which is great because it's been really annoying when I'm trying to do restaurant reviews and everybody's doing this mobile order stuff now um, or you know the, the, uh, the menu is on your phone. And I'm like, I can't even record the menu, which is what you would normally do to kind of show like the different food items they have because I'm using my phone for the camera. So now I can actually kind of record and show the actual menu. So I can, instead of just talking about the one or two items that I'm actually purchasing, I can talk about the other menu items. So I'm kind of excited about that. And then of course I got another SD card. It's gonna help me, uh, these aren't really interesting, but I got an SD card here. I also got a free micro SD card that actually came with my GoPro. Getting all kinds of stuff with the, with the GoPro for free. And then last but not least, I got all these extra batteries. I got a, I got a three battery charger for my Sony uh, for the ZV-1. So I've got three extra batteries I purchased um, that are going to let me charge all these batteries. So I'll always have batteries on the go. In case I need to charge the camera, if it starts getting low, I can swap the battery out. And last but not least, I always highly recommend having a battery charger. So this is a, this is a, a charging station here that I can basically recharge my phone, I can recharge the camera, everything right off of this. And this gets hours and hours and hours worth of extra battery that I can just recharge on the fly. And we carry this every time we go to the parks um, in case we need it. So I don't even, may not even necessarily need to swap out batteries. So we'll see. So that's the haul, everything I need now. I've got the Duo microphone, which I'm pumped about. I've got the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera, and I've got the awesome GoPro Hero 10 Black, and I am pumped about that for on the go. Uh, and then all the accessories as well. So. You're gonna have to let us know. I'm gonna start using this stuff right away and I'd love to know if you feel like it's made any difference at all in the quality of the work that we're putting out. Hopefully it does because um, at the end of the day, we do these videos because we love doing it and just have a good time making them, but also we're hoping that it also brings you a little bit of joy and you enjoy watching our videos. And so the better quality video and sound uh, I think just makes for better production quality of the videos. Um, so at the end of the day, you can enjoy them even more because it's really about you 
and enjoying the videos and being able to see them clearly and experience uh, the things that we do. Sometimes you can't make it out to the parks, you can't make it out to certain restaurants, but you'll be able to watch the videos and maybe enjoy it, um, sort of uh, secondhand, until you can make it back to the parks. So that's the episode today. I am super jazzed about it. Please comment below if you think any of the stuff that I got is cool or garbage, but do let us know in these next up upcoming videos um, what you think, if the quality is any better. I still have a couple of episodes that I'm still trying to release, so there may be a few woven in there with some of the new stuff, but over the next couple of weeks, you should start seeing the new content appearing with better quality, and I'd love to know if you notice a difference or not, or if it just looks same old, same old, and I just wasted a bunch of money. You have to let us know. So until next time, thanks for joining us uh, for this unboxing video. Um, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.